Hi, this is Bryce with eLearning Brothers. Today I'm going to show you around Lectora Online 3 and some of the new features it has inside of it. So first off, I want to show you a little around our library. These PKG files are the online versions for this, uh, this in particular template. However, there is a difference between uh, the ones that say responsive and ones that might say, um, oh, what does it say? Um, just the Lectora online P PKG file, right? So this one is not responsive, wasn't built in uh, Lectora online 3, whereas uh, the other one that we were just on was built in Lectora online 3 and does have the responsive capabilities of it. So um, yeah, again, let's just dive into it and uh, see how it looks and uh, what you can do with it. So first, uh, I would go ahead and download Lectora Online Responsive. Uh, it is a PKG file. I'm going to go ahead and save it on my desktop. Once it's saved on my desktop, I'm going to go over to my online uh, Lectora Online file or software and um, import uh, a, my package. So I go to this button here, import Lectora Online PKG or package file. I go and browse for that file on my desktop, open, and now I can import this and I can rename it if I want to. Um, so title name, um, test, we'll just call it test. Import. Once that's imported, now I have the availability to modify my text and uh, modify my buttons. So uh, first off, with all these uh, templates that, that we've created, we've also added a, um, a skin to it, a default skin. So uh, you can go ahead and remove that if you want. That would be uh, this, uh, well, that would be the menu box, but a lot of these upper, uh, or upper level objects are just going to be for the player. And I also have this uh, purple box in there showing uh, just the margins I want to keep keep within. So you can either delete those or, or, or keep them however you want. Um, with this margin box, uh, however, I do make sure that in, um, in the properties it's initially hidden. So when I do publish it out, it's not going to be viewed. So um, that's just for my development purposes. Okay, so um, before we move on to the actual page, I want to show you why I, I used a box. Um, and that's because uh, this margin is going to change with every view inside of uh, a responsive design. So as you can see here, if I go to a, a tablet portrait, it then is a different size of uh, screen that I, I can modify for or optimize for. And uh, my margins are going to be a little different. So uh, I can stretch and um, skew that, that one object or that one shape to whatever I need it to be. So that's how that looks. Now, if, now when we get to the actual page, uh, it's just the same as, um, as regular Lectora. Um, if you're familiar with Lectora already, this is a, a, a real cinch. Basically, all you do is go into each one of the text boxes, change, uh, change whatever, whatever you need here. So say uh, this is my new text intro stuff. Okay, um, and then also um, inside of these groups, tab content groups is where uh, my content is going to be shown for whatever button I, I, I click on. So for uh, tab one, uh, content one will appear. I can also put in any type of image, um, more text boxes, and all I would need to do is move it inside this one group. When I have it inside that group, I can then um, I can uh, adjust those to however I want. So let's say um, we want to insert an image. Maybe they're just a few icons. Maybe I want to insert these icons in there. I can easily uh, bring them in by click and dragging them. It will take a second to upload. Once uploaded, I can now place these uh, icons wherever I want. OK, 
Okay. So, so maybe I want them right here at that point, and then I also want the text box to, to be a little smaller as well to accommodate for those icons right there. Okay, so that's all I have to do with that. Now, uh, if I go down to another view, oh, don't forget though, make sure to put those icons that you want inside that particular content uh, to be inside that content group. So when I click on text one, it's going to show these icons. After I click off of text one and onto another text button, it's going to hide those and then show the other group. Okay, so so that's how that goes. However, now I need to make sure I adjust these for the uh, for the different views. So um, I like to work uh, to uh, to the right first because. First off, uh, these two sizes, the desktop and the uh, tablet portrait uh, or landscape, excuse me, the tablet landscape are actually the same exact sizes. And so, um, so that makes it easy right there. I usually don't even have to touch that. Um, then I go to the, uh, the landscape uh, mobile view. And so that's a, a, a phone view. I can now again adjust that to be the right size. Make sure these are in their proper places. Make sure to press Alt. If it's inside of a group, if a, an object is inside a group, you need to hold down Alt to move the individual object. Then I can select all of them and um, evenly space them vertically. Once I have that, so that's how I want it to look in the uh, mobile landscape. Then uh, all I need to do is go over to the, the portrait views. Now for this, let's say I want these to stretch at, along the bottom of the content box. So again, by holding Alt, I'll move these to where they should. Whoops. Select all four, evenly space horizontally, align center, and voila, there we go. That's all I have to do with that. Um, and I can move that box up if I wanted. Okay, so then the, the last step would be the mobile uh, portrait. Again, that's pretty close to what I want, but not exactly. And these are a little small, so I'm going to actually stretch it a bit. One nice thing that Lector does do is it auto adjusts some of these objects to um, hopefully be at the right uh, size, width, and height. For this instance, I actually want them a little larger so I can see them a little bit better. Okay. So I have it like that, then select those, I'll align in the center, middle, I mean, and then space horizontally. And there we go. So, so now if I view this page, so let's go ahead and view it. You can see my intro text has been changed like I, I did before. Uh, my content one is automatically shown because that's the first one. However, if I uh, click on content two, the content two text pops up and those objects that were in the group content one, uh, tab one content are, are now uh, removed. If I want those back, I can click on tab, tab one text and, uh, and so forth. So the nice thing about the responsive piece is check that out all of a sudden it went smaller and now we're in the the view um, view here this view uh, and that shows it in, a, in a smaller ratio I can also change the text of that and I'll show you how to change the text didn't move over didn't go over that quite yet but then the nice thing right here see how much that changed uh, and that's for the the um, the portrait view and so that's really helpful to uh, optimize for your uh, certain um, certain device that you're you're doing your training on so so that's how that goes okay so one last thing I wanted to show you was the uh, the text so um, this is a really nice feature 
where I can go into the Home tab and I can scale the font down to a percentage. Now, uh, the thing about this is it does give you the availability to change it here in this view, but I think it's a good practice and it should be a common practice to only change the font size or the, the font point in the desktop view. Once we go down to the other views, keep it the same point, but you can uh, now do a percentage of the original uh, point value. So it was at a 12 point font. I decrease it down to 90% of whatever that was, what I, I set it at, which is right here, and that decreases it to 11 point font. Uh, and I can see that information all right there. And so, um, so, so forth, I can also uh, decrease it 80%, but I think that's a little too small. So I'll keep it at 90. So, um, so yeah, you can play around with that and make sure you optimize uh, not only the objects uh, around the uh, around the stage, but you can also uh, change the font size of each individual uh, text box as well. So that's Lectora Online 3 and some of the awesome features it has. Give it a go and have fun with the responsive design.